This is Valor Fusion from Cinema 4D Tux, and this is my first tutorial with my new 27 inch iMac. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's go on with the tutorial. This is a depth of field tutorial. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get into it. You want to add a plane, make it pretty big, about 5,000 by uh, 5,000. Uh, segments one by one then you want to copy and paste this and then rotate it 90 degrees you can do this by holding down the shift and then turning it it like sticks it to a five degree angle um, and put it right to the edge now you can see you have quite you have a nice little scene cool 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 um, from here you want to add a sky uh, and you can add an HDRI to it, but I don't have any on my computer yet since I just got it. And then once you add the HDRI, add a compositing tag, and then uncheck scene by camera. <coughs> um, then you want to make a new material. Um, this is going to be for the floor, so you can rename it if you want. Um, make a off-white, so yeah, where it was before. Um, Let's add a reflection to about 5%. You don't want it too reflective. Um, and you want the blurriness, I'd say, about 10%. Because you want it to be just a little bit blurry, so it doesn't look like a glass floor. I mean, if you want it to be a glass floor, that's up, that's up to you. But, yeah. Um, add a sphere. Now push this up 100 on the y-axis, um, add a cloner object, and now parent, uh, child, yeah, make the cloner uh, parent of the sphere, change, f first click on the cloner, and raise this by 100 as well, um, now you want to, on the y-axis, change it back to 0, and on the z, to 200, because the, that the radius of one is one hundred, and together one hundred plus one hundred is two hundred, so it's the distance from each center. So there's a, there'll be only one point touching each sphere. Um, and then let's make the count to ten. Let's say yeah, just perfect. Um, let's make the material. Let's just use a shader for, for today. Um, this one's quite nice. Um, Go to spec to change this to, I don't know, about, go there, dark orange. Ugh, I did spec one. Uh, spec to dark orange, not spec one. And then spec three, let's make it kind of brighter. So maybe dark yellow. Because yellow is always brighter than. Yeah, that's okay. That's much better. Um, add a rough, bit of roughness. Um, I'm gonna use cranial. Cranial is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So the scale, turn it down a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Twenty percent, I'd say. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. Um, amplitude, maybe just half that. Yeah, that looks better. Um, so yeah, let's add that to the objects. And there you go. You got pretty nice. Some, you got some pretty nice spheres there. They'll, they'll look a lot better with the GI and the field coming up. Um, so let's go render settings. Might as well do it now. Um, turn on anti aliasing on best, and then. Um, yeah, let's add, add um, what do you call it, global illumination and depth of field. Um, let's just turn them off for now. Um, turn them on later. Uh, first, let's add a little nice light. Um, go to shadow, shadow map soft, and change the general color. I'm going to go for bright yellow um, yeah 
uh, turn intensity pretty low. 50% should do it. Um, and then just move this. the right about just just right the back there we go um, maybe we can turn the intensity up a little bit maybe 60% that should do it uh, let's add a then we're going to add a camera from over here. Um, there we go. Um, let's first let's go to depth and then add a front and rear blur. Um, then let's go to the top top view and then. Push this about there. Um, I'll explain to you what they do. Um, so by putting the front one, this is where the out of focus will be. No, in focus will be. And then, so here it'll be out of focus. And then we're gonna. Oops. Seem to get. Let's just keep that one there. So the middle one will be in focus. This will be in focus. I'm going to have it pretty close to the camera. About there. This one about there. And there. In so this will be out of focus. This will be in focus. And that will be out of focus. So yeah, you, you can play around with those little settings. Um, so yeah. Uh, now we'll go back to output, turn on GI and depth of field, um, turn the blur strength up to, hmm, I think I used 20% when I was playing around, um, and you can make the lens, let's put a heptagon, they always look quite nice, um, now uh, I'm not going to render it out for you, because uh, that will just take, take, I don't know how long it will take, to be honest. Um, but first it will render out, it will look like it's finished, but if you look down here, it will carry on rendering and then quickly add the depth of field, so don't click anything, it will be fine. Um, obviously you can play with the output here. Um, yeah, that looks better for me. Okay, so thanks for watching. This was the depth of field tutorial. Hope you like it, and thanks for watching.